Hello there, welcome back to another video and the first installment of fan submissions. Today's video will be ranking SCR stations in each zone by their passenger numbers. Without further ado, let's get into it. Now, as you can see I have divided SCR map into regions, some being merged because they contain too few stations. We will start off with Willowfield and Stepford City. Now this area would have one of the most people traveling to and within here due to it being the city center of Stepford. The area also contains financial districts and a main hospital. It's mostly people using the services that go into Stepford City to work. Connect also serves Hemden Park and Willowfield, rural areas with villages. It provides a good connection with the locals to more bigger shopping and financial areas like Victoria and High Street. Anyway, let's see the total passengers annually. At first we have Stepford Central with 78.3 million passengers annually. In second we have Stepford Victoria with 68.7 million passengers a year. In third we have Stepford East with 40.1 million. Fourth is Financial Quartier with 22 million. 5th Stepford High Street with 982,445 6th is Beachley with 762,986 7th is Willowfield with 743,991 And finally in last and most definitely least, Hemden Park with 450,467 the Whitefield area is quite useful for leisure. Within the Whitefield zone you can visit Toledo and the Stepford United football grounds. Similar to the Willowfield branch. It connects mostly with small villages and estates however it does have a fair size of commercial areas. This area gets most of its revenue and passengers from Stepford United football grounds where most Stepford games are played at. Let's have a look at the statistics. In first we have Stepford United Football Club with 72,248,343. In second we have Whitefield with 1,093,216. In third we have Whitefield Lido with 623,667. In fourth we have Woodhead Lane with 270,513. And finally in 5th we have Houghton Rake with 97,333. I would describe this zone as another major area. The population had boosted ever since the regeneration of Border Town in 2016. The area is quite popular, offering several commercial and industrial sites while providing more people a place to live at a low cost. Now let's have a look at passenger numbers. In first we have St. Helens Bridge with 32,451,997. Second we have Bodder with 30,792,165. Third we have Coxley with 1,001,018. And in fourth we have Angel Pass with 622,823. Elsmoor and Berrily are one of the more commercial and industrial areas with a selection of department and local stores, a high street and many factories. These stations rank quite low because of their relevance. In first we have Berrily with 1,409,807. Second is Elsmoor Junction with 1,090,022. Third is New Harrow with 652,213. Fourth is Ellesmere Pond with 325,777. And fifth is East Berrily with 143,132. Morganstown is another area which was regenerated to be up to date with Benton. I have already covered a bit of this in my waterline video so go check that out after this one. Morganstown was regenerated to be more resistential like Bodder. In first we have Morganstown with 10.1 million. Second is Greenslade with 282,455. 
third is Whitney Green with 156,199. Fourth is Bully Park with 98,823. And finally Morganstown Docks with 63,710. Benton is probably the best area to live in in terms of life quality. It provides everything needed in a borough, shopping center, industrial areas, docks, factories, financial districts, residential estates and many more. Its main source of income is the port and the iconic Benton Bridge. You can go basically anywhere from Benton which is also extremely useful to locals traveling. First is Benton with 21.8 million. Second is Benton Bridge at 4.5 million. Third is West Benton with 4.1 million. Fourth is Faraday Road with 1 million. And fifth is Port Benton with 867k. Newry is a string of villages by the countryside close to the northern coast of Stepford. It is also another port where cruise ships arrive. The main station is Newry with Eden Key being the main residential station. This is also where Waterline got its name, connecting various water-linked areas. In first we have Newry with 1.7 million. In second we have Eden Key with 645,345. And in third we have Newry Harbour with 430,899. The Connolly area plays a big role in Stepford's growth. The Connolly area contains the one and only airport in Stepford. This is also linked with waterline services from places like Ashland Park and Cambridge Street. If you want to hear more about the airport, watch my airlink video. In first we have Stepford Airport Central with 58 million. In second we have Terminal 2 with 23 million. In third we have Terminal 3 with 18 million. In fourth we have Terminal 1 with 11 million. In fifth we have Connolly with 992,231. In sixth we have Cambridge Street Parkway with 832,550. And in seventh we have Ashland Park with 634,056. Hampton and Leighton is a mix of countryside and urban development. From the vast villages of Upper Staplow and Hampton Hargate to the busy town centers of Leighton. Like Benton, you can get anywhere from Leighton City with an exclusive branch to the airport. First is Leighton City with 14.9 million. Second is Leighton Stepford Road with 9 million. Third is Hampton Hargate with 2.3 million. Fourth is Water Newton is 1.9 million. Finally fifth is Upper Staplow with a pathetic 7,025. Ghost and Millcastle are good stations which serve towns and Millcastle having a race course. In first there's Wester Coast with 5.2 million. In second there's Millcastle with 881,245. In third there's the race course with 652,700. Lynn Costal is the last set of stations on the Lynn line. They are quite popular as they serve Lynn's beaches, one of Stepford's icons. First is Lynn by the Sea with 31 million. Second is North Shore with 28 million. Third is West Wyvern with 12 million. And finally Starry Lock with 2.2 million. And that brings us to the end of the video. Thanks for watching and if you want your idea in a video make sure to comment below. Bye.